Good morning all. Oh, actually, no, it's afternoon. What's the time? Half past one. Good afternoon all. Uh, Teardown of this crappy watch. It's hideous uh, in its design. And also, it's almost impossible to read. You have to kind of angle it towards the light, but not so much that you can't read it. But enough that you can read it, but not so much that you can't read it when it's dark. It does have a backlight, which you can set to uh, multi-colours. Or if you press and hold it, you can set it to uh, press and hold any single colour, green, blue, red, and so on. If you press and long hold it, very long hold it, really long hold it, it goes into its sort of rainbow cycling mode. Now, I think this is the watch where I asked for suggestions uh, about what I should do with it. And most were like burn it, crush it smash it up, stick 400 kilovolts through it. Uh, but I think a significant number of you said, let's have a teardown. So let's have a teardown. Okay, well, we obviously start with taking these four screws out. See what horrors lie beneath. And it is uh, a disc. Oh, that's a piezo element. That's interesting. That's completely loose. Actually, it looks like it might have been tacked into the back of the case somehow with a bit of sticky tape or something. And then that, I presume, sits partially on that spring and partially on that little tag there. So that's the beeper. That uh, blue thing is interesting. Looks like it should be the uh, crystal. But why is it wrapped up in blue uh, heat shrink coating? Right, let's get this module out. So is this any more readable when it's out of the watch case? Well, not that much. Uh, if you use the backlight, of course, that helps. Now, some people suggested that um, if I peel off the polarizing uh, cover and rotate it 90 degrees, then this will invert. And I'm quite intrigued about that. So let's give that a try. Right, that's coming off. Oops. And without it, uh, you can't see anything, even with the backlight. Ah, yes, yeah. so that's the reversed out. And that's a uh, positive, sort of black on clear. And that's clear on black. Yeah, it's much better that way around. The only trouble is the filter's the wrong shape to fit on there. But that's pretty good, isn't it? I quite like that. Uh, actually, if I don't bother with seconds, and I just have the time and the date. Although, actually, strangely enough, on this watch, the time seems to be duplicated up there. In fact, that field up there seems to be a permanent duplicate of this field down here. If I press any function, like stopwatch, um, then uh, that's always a duplicate of this. I don't really know what the point of it is. It seems a bit stupid. Uh, stopwatch. And, oh, alarm set, I think. And that's the current time. It's not correct, of course. This is quite fun. Look, that's completely blank. And if I put the polarizing filter in front of my camera and then rotate it, I can turn it from the one um, polarity, I suppose it is, round to the other polarity, even at this distance. That's really enjoyable. That was worth spending a pound on that watch just to do this. Right, now I'm going to cut this in half uh, because I figure that if I stick each half of this on half of the display, it probably isn't going to quite fit. I can probably have this permanently uh, the right way round. Oh, that's pretty good. Right, what's under here? Hmm. What's this? Oh, I think that looks like battery holder which is screwed down so let's unscrew that so let's undo that so that lifts up this battery thing has that stopped it working no it's still working let's unscrew that a bit more how about now okay right so the battery has lifted off its contacts uh what else holds that in nothing okay battery compartment now there are two screws here they're a bit small really for this screwdriver but 
I think I can just about get them out. What can we see? Oh, that's not the crystal because I've just seen the crystal under there. Why isn't that coming out? Yeah, that's the crystal. So what's that? Is that an inductor or something? Why would you have an inductor on a watch? Now I think I see zebra strips uh, there, the sort of black and pink, looks a bit like a licorice or sort, whoops, just knocked my camera. Uh, so if I pull these apart, I think that display glass is just going to come out. Right, I just broke off the bit that was retaining that, so that should come out now. But yes, that's a zebra strip down onto the, oop, that's come out down onto the uh, PCB connections down there. So there's presumably another one here. That's quite interesting. The connections on this glass are almost invisible. It's only if you tip it to the light that you can just about make out this stripy pattern uh, coating on the glass, which must be the connections which then go through that zebra strip. But uh, that's pretty much invisible without reflecting uh, light from the window on it. Yeah, it's quite interesting. And if I peel these bits of polarizing filter off, because they're not going to get used again, this has got actually some white uh, ink for days of the week, alarm, date. Really weird. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, single letters. T-H-F-R-S-A, double letters for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm not quite sure why they've done that. So that's definitely the crystal. Let's see if there are any markings on that for frequency. It's going to be 32.768, 32768, uh, 32.768 kilohertz. And that's because if you divide 32,768 in half lots of times, you eventually get down to two. And therefore you can divide that and get one hertz, which gives you the uh, fundamental unit of time one pulse per second. Oh, that's come apart. And there's the uh, PCB. I still don't know what this blue thing is. It's got some epoxy at the bottom of it down there. So is it an inductor? Is it some sort of temperature sensor? I can't remember if this watch uh, gave temperature as one of its functions. I don't s seem to remember that it did. Just time, date and stopwatch, I think. Uh, there's the RGB LED, which is um, actually on the PCB, and then it's got a little bubble of, uh, it feels like, it might be epoxy, but it might just be a rubbery stuff. Before I completely annihilate the surface of that, let's have a really close look at that. That's going to mean removing this spring. Right, that should lie flat now, so I should be able to get close up on the uh, LED. Right, well with double magnifying glass you can uh, just make out some detail in there including uh, three pads it looks like and uh, bond wires coming off those PCB tracks and going onto some sort of bar it looks like uh, where the three coloured LED dies presumably are placed. Well I have to say that the inside of this watch is actually quite nice. It's got a nice neat layout. The LED is not some bodged on afterthought. It was sort of designed to go in this. This is a nice piece of design work. Still don't know what that blue thing is. But when they stick this in the outer housing, it's the worst watch in the world. So what on earth were they thinking? Why make something so sort of electronically nice to look at so awful when it's uh, in its finished packaging? And uh, so there it is, completely broken down, complete with a uh, liquid crystal display, polarizing filters, very nice circuit board. And uh, But I think the only thing I'm actually going to keep is going to be that battery. That could come in quite handy. Uh, that's the teardown. Cheerio.